I tried everything and, and I'm happy with my career and the, I wouldn't change my career with that many people. I think I had, a, I had a good run and I got to win a lot of things before I was 30, so I'm happy. This is the moment most North Americans realize the special skills of Peter Forsberg, a 20-year-old with the gold medal on his stick at the 1994 Olympics. The move to be immortalized on a postage stamp. I think I actually have that postage stamp at, at home somewhere in, in the house I grew up in. And, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure my dad knows where it is. That goal is just, you know, at that age that he was at the time, you know, who does that? I was very nervous. I was horrible at penalty shots. So I had, I, that's the only thing, the only move. I had two moves and I did the first one in Ron Robbins. So I didn't have another move. It was lucky. Philadelphia Flyers are pleased to select from Modo, Sweden, Peter Forsberg. Did you expect to go in the first round? No. 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 You seem very surprised. Yeah, I am at that too. Selected by Philadelphia with the sixth pick in the 1991 draft, Forsberg was dealt to Quebec in the blockbuster Eric Lindros trade before ever playing a game with the Flyers. Forsberg scores! I think I had four points in the first three games, and uh, like, oh, I'm working out perfect. And, and uh, then I didn't have, a, I did not have one point in eight games, I think. And I, I got called into Crawford, and he's like, well, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I'm like. What do you mean? It's like, start playing, start thinking, well, I'm not gonna send you down or anything. The message was received. Forsberg finished his rookie year with 50 points in 47 games, earning the Calder Trophy as the NHL's top rookie. Forsberg scores! The Nordiques moved to Denver the following year, coincided with the beginning of Forsberg's emergence as one of the NHL's best. Peter always believed that, that uh, he could beat guys one-on-one, -on -one and, and, but I mean, that's how special he was. Two things I couldn't do, I couldn't shoot and I couldn't fight. <laughs> Other than that, I think I saw the game pretty well. 885 points in 708 career games. Forsberg finished his career a plus 210. His physical style at both ends of the ice redefined our image of a Swedish hockey player. Sometimes I walk in the game, I was like, I'm not going to do anything today. And then five minutes of the game, I would start yelling at people and, and, and trying. It's just, it's just how I was. I don't think anybody realizes how strong of a player he was going to be, how tough he was, how physical he was going to be. If anybody you know, gave, him, gave him a shot or anybody went after him, I mean, he was right back in there and, and, and he didn't let the guy off the hook. Nowhere was his talent and physical ability more apparent than within the Red Wings avalanche rivalry of the mid and late 90s. Here's Forsberg, he scores! We had so many games, so many tough games, and even regular season games against him uh, back in the 90s felt like it, it was a playoff game. A Hart Trophy winner, a two-time Stanley Cup champion, a two-time Olympic gold medalist, his confidence only left him once his body began to fail him. It was a struggle. I would say if I look at my career, before I was 30 it was good and after that I was just trying to hold on and, and nothing really could happen after that. It was hard to give up. I, I wanted to try everything possible to, to make it work. At his peak, Forsberg was a dominant player, a fearsome competitor, a champion. There was no higher honor than Hockey's Hall of Fame. Thinking back in all the games and all I did in, in playing hockey, I really enjoyed it. And I got to win two Cups and two Olympics and two World Championships, so I'm, I'm really happy and a fantastic journey.